Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello new students welcome in this module and in this module i am going to tell you about pharmacopias different pharmacopias indian pharmacopia british pharmacopia and united state pharmacopia so in this subject dispensing pharmacy pharmaceutics one so dear students uh, i am dr mona semalti from HNB Garhwal University, Srinagar Garhwal. I welcome you all in this module. So, dear students, after going through from this module, you are going to learn about pharmacopias. Uh, what is the definition of pharmacopia? Monograph and the description about uh, the Indian pharmacopia and. Uh, uh, the different contents of India Pharmacopoeia, British Pharmacopoeia and United States Pharmacopoeia. So, this is going to be your lesson plan. So, we will follow this lesson plan. So, dear students, if I try to explain you about Pharmacopoeia uh, in a very simple way, Pharmacopoeias are like just like Bible, Quran or Gita. Uh, for pharmacy professionals okay for pharmacy students for pharmacy persons who are involved in the uh, in who are involved in academics or in, in pharma industry or anyhow they are associated with the pharmacy profession so pharmacopoeia it is derived from greek word pharmakon means drug and poia that is to make it means is to make that means uh, making of drugs so it is a legal and official book issued by the recognized authorities usually appointed by the government of each country okay and it comprises of a list of pharmaceutical substances formula along with their description and standards to be followed uh, in a particular country as well as a worldwide and if it depends a specific or particular country uh, adopts the standards of which pharmacopoeia now this is also very important for you to know about the monograph so what is monograph a complete description of a specific pharmaceutical which include nomenclature classification physical characteristics doses uh, doses purity and uh, limits for impurity identification assay and the condition of storage so this is a complete uh, description uh, this is the uh, this is the definition you can say of a monograph and if a monograph of a specific drug it contains the following things so it comprises of a monograph now list of pharmacopoeias uh, Indian Pharmacopoeia, United States Pharmacopoeia, British Pharmacopoeia, Russian Pharmacopoeia. So there are uh, many pharmacopoeias available worldwide for each country. Uh, they uh, each and every country depending on uh, their uh, researchers, their uh, uh, complete uh, background of their uh, drugs and pharmaceuticals. So uh, they update their pharmacopoeia. Uh, on yearly basis maybe so uh, different countries have their own pharmacopias and they and their own pharmacopias and their standards they have so uh, th this list you can see on this slide that there are different types of uh, different pharmacopias exist all over world now we will talk about indian pharmacopia 
so uh, in indian scenario uh, what all standards of drugs are they are what uh, type of monographs are there so we will discuss them about indian pharmacopoeia and uh, uh, before independence uh, british pharmacopoeia was employed as the official book of standard in the uh, official book of standard for drugs and pharmaceuticals and the very first edition of indian pharmacopoeia was published in 1955 under the chairmanship of dr b n ghosh okay and now second edition it was uh, introduced in 1966 and it was having many drugs crude drugs and their preparations the third edition was uh, of the ip it got published in 1985 the first edition uh, in 1955 second edition in 1966 and the third edition in 1985 and addendum first of the third edition it was published in 1989 okay now ip has several uh, editions and volumes and uh, uh, third edition 19 uh, when it was introduced in 1985 okay with the two volumes and nine appendices fourth volume of ip in 1996 under the chairmanship of dr nityanand volume 1 it contain notices preface acknowledgement introduction general notices monograph from alphabet o to a and second volume alphabet from p to z fifth edition of ip in 2007 it was introduced okay and fifth edition of ip was published in 2007 and addendum to this edition was published in 2008 and it has a uh, uh, it had three volumes volume 1 general notice uh, notice and uh, general chapters volume 2 and uh, different monographs and uh, different monographs from alphabet a to m and in the third volume uh, it contain monographs of drug substances and doses from and pharmaceutical ad from n to z sixth edition it was introduced in 2010 uh this i'm telling because dear students sometimes it is asked about these editions that when the uh, first edition of indian pharmacopoeia was introduced okay uh, what about the third edition of indian pharmacopoeia so as we are pharmacy professionals pharmacy persons we are so we should have uh, we should have uh, knowledge about these uh, different editions although uh, these all editions uh, every time when the new edition of indian pharmacopoeia is introduced so sometimes uh, the, uh, the authorities uh, uh, they do little addition or deletion depending on the complete uh, requirements of drug and pharmaceuticals so sixth edition it was introduced in 2010 published by indian pharmacopoeia uh, commission ipc gaziabad and it was presented in three volumes volume 1 contained notices preface and structure of uh, 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 IPC acknowledgments uh, and intro introduction and the general chapters volume 2 contains monograph generally just to remember broadly volume 2 contains monograph from alphabet a to m okay and volume 3 it contains monograph from n to z n to z cap, uh, alphabet n to z followed by monographs on vaccines and immunosera for human use as well as uh, herbs and herbal products and uh, blood and blood products related and biotechnology products so all these things and in 2010 the scope of pharmacopoeia has been extended to include the products of biotechnology indigenous herbs and herbal product as well as veterinary vaccines and additional uh entry retroviral drug and formulation okay so it was uh, introduced in 2010 in the sixth edition of indian pharmacopoeia seventh edition 
uh, of Indian Pharmacopoeia was published by the Pharmacopoeia Commission, Pharmacopoeia Commission on behalf of Government of India, uh, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare in 2014. Okay, in 2014 and it was presented in four volumes. Now, seventh edition uh, of Indian Pharmacopoeia uh, as uh, it was uh, present, uh, it came in 2014 and in, it uh, incorporates 2550 monograph of the drug out of which 577 are of new monograph consisting of API, excipients, doses form and herbal products. Now, now I'm going to tell you about the content of monograph. So dear students, it is very important for you to know that what does a monograph uh, uh, contains, okay, the contents of monograph uh, or you can say the description of monograph, all right. So the very first thing a monograph has title. Uh, title stated in English and the uh, and it prefers to the uh, official name of compound sometimes subtitles if any are also given so uh, these are synonyms and it could be used in the place of main title say for example calcium carbonate can also be called as a precipitated chalk and milk of magnesia can also be called as magnesium uh, hydroxide mixture okay so this way uh, the very first uh, description of monograph is title now second is its molecular weight uh, formula and weight following uh, the title of the drug substance a chemical formula uh, of the pure compound is mention and its molecular weight okay second thing third thing in monograph we have category of the drug which is very important describes the therapeutic and pharmacological uh, pharmacologic or pharmaceutical application of compound uh, generally we call which category of drug it is right category so that category is mentioned in monograph at third place third uh, description is about the category and next is dose quantities for the guidance of prescriber of the physician to achieve the desired therapeutic effect in adult so what is dose this is only uh, is the dose that the quantity of the uh, guidance of the prescriber or a physician who uh, who prescribes a specific quantity to achieve the desired therapeutic effect all right so uh, it can be altered as and when required so depending on in the coming additions uh, based on the researches and based on the conclusions of the researches so it is updated as and when it requires description now it gives a physical description of the substance like crystalline it is if it is a crystalline or uh, amorphous uh, form color order taste so so this property basically helps in the preliminary evaluation of the uh, evaluation of the integrity of an article or uh, uh, this prelim this is going to help uh, uh, the researchers and uh, uh, pharmacy persons to know about the preliminary uh, to to have a preliminary idea of its physical properties solubility next thing is described in the popular term say for example completely soluble partially soluble sparingly soluble so so dear students uh, solubility in and uh, it is uh, the different ways or different class uh, i can say the classification of solubility it is generally uh, it's very important to know for all of you to so please go through from the pharmacopoeia where it is mentioned uh, in the beginning itself regarding the solubility criteria different solubility criteria so just go through from uh, those solubility criteria so solubility is mentioned in the description of a monograph after drug substance description 
standard uh, it is very important part of monograph which uh, specifies the quant uh, quantitative purity of title uh, compound okay so where the compound is of definite composition uh, for example uh, potassium bromide is having not less than 98% of kbr calculated with reference to the dried substance so this way standards are mentioned and standards are stated in monograph of the pharmacopeia apply only to the article which are intended for medical use all right moving to next one this is identification so identification this usually involves the specific chemical test or test for identifying the substance color reaction and uh, precipitating test and uh, gas evolving reaction uh, which are commonly uh, used for inorganic pharmaceuticals so identification and next is ph ph uh, the ph value uh, given in the monograph for the guidance of manufacturing pharmacists to develop various doses form and to avoid the physio uh, physiological complications so ph is also mentioned so uh, if you don't know the ph of any drug substance so we uh, we call it as like go and refer the indian pharmacopeia so indian pharmacopeia has all these things uh, uh, in the description of monograph and next is uh, limit for impurity for different chemical uh, chemicals different limit tests have been included so uh, as also different amounts of such impurities are permissible for that chemical so this is also mentioned in the description of pharmacopeia description of a drug in pharmacopeia in indian pharmacopeia okay uh, the next description is about the limit test for impurities which are generally represented in parts per million by weight ppm or as a percentage so these are approximate values sa okay this is very important and sa uh, step by step a description of a chemical analytical method for active substance if the assay method uh, described in the pharmacopeia is applied to a chemical the standard prescribed in the monograph earlier should be realized okay so next is about the condition storage condition uh, about that particular dose form and drug substances which is prescribed Uh, in the uh, which is there as per the standards of indian pharmacopeia and uh, next thing is about the containers okay container in which the drug uh, and in which uh, container it, it, it is the device that holds the article so the immediate container uh, is that which is in direct contact with the article at all the times so well closed container tightly closed container and light resistant container and uh, so this descriptions are given for a particular drug substance or doses form in indian pharmacopeia and uh, if we take another example like single dose container and the precautions to be taken and there is a possibility of effect of atmosphere moisture heat and light so all this information is provided along with uh, say for example if we say the ferrous fumarate so stored in a light resistant container and insulin injection stored in multiple dose container at so all this uh, uh, are included in the description so next is uh, about the appendix so list of appendix is there in indian pharmacopeia so what uh, what all it contains appendix 1 it describes the apparatus uh, that are required for various pharmacopeial test and assays in particular standards and 
टॉलरेंस ओके अपेंडिक्स टू डिस्क्राइब द बायोलॉजिकल टेस्ट एंड डिटर्मिनेशन विच इन्वॉल्व द डिजाइन एंड एनालिसिस ऑफ रिजल्ट ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल बायोलॉजिकल टेस्ट एंड एसिस appendix 3 lays down the details of various chemical test and assay uh, it involves identification test limit test analysis of fixed oil analysis of vegetable drugs and general titration and assay procedure so all these things appendix 3 contains and fourth appendix describes in detail about the chromatographic and electrophoresis technique sixth appendix 5 a uh, spectrophotometric method it has appendix 6 involves the clarity and color of solutions disintegration dissolutions are part of this uh, appendix now appendix 7 disintegration and dissolutions are part of it it uh, describes the determination of boiling uh, or dis, uh, distillating range uh, and uh, congealing range ethanol freezing point jelly strength uh, loss on drying loss on ignition melting point optical rotation so all this information is given in appendix a so dear students you might be thinking that why uh, why we are discussing uh, all this appendix uh, uh, here uh, this is because uh, you should uh, little understand about what all uh, this appendix is all about basically so uh, if someone asks you ki what is there in appendix 1 so you should have a little idea about that yes appendix 1 of ip contains this information for all the drug substances or doses form right so uh, that is why just go through it once uh, and be uh, try to be familiarized with this appendix content uh, i'm not going to uh, just uh, uh, recall and remember all those things which are mentioned there just remember that what it contains okay uh, say for example appendix 9 it contains the microbiological assay and test and appendix 10 what it contains it contains and it describes the limit test uh, for a particular matter and other test and containers and closures are given in appendix 11 so if you want to refer any specifications for container and closure uh, for indian uh, as per the indian pharmacopeia so you are going to what you have to do you have to refer appendix 11 for that appendix 12 describes the uh, general information regarding the uh, cleaning of glass wares okay dimensions of capsule shell sterilization procedures biological indicators and what of pharmaceutical use so these uh, appendix are also important theoretically for you to understand about say for example sterilization you want to uh, you want to uh, uh, you want to learn about uh, sterilization so it's the uh, best reference that go and refer indian pharmacopeia for the sterilization so there is given and is presented very nicely in indian pharmacopeia okay so that is why also this appendix are important for you to know about and appendix 13 which gives the preparation of reagent and solution like buffer solution general reagent indicators indicator test paper and standard solutions and volumetric reagent solution all right and 14 appendix describes the reference substances uh, table of name symbol atomic weights elements so these are there in appendix 15 of indian pharmacopeia now uh, dear students moving to british pharmacopeia uh, there are uh, as i told you in the beginning of this module that there are number of pharmacopeias uh, available worldwide country wise i can say rather so uh, but indian pharmacopeia uh, in indian context is it, it is uh, the standards of indian pharmacopeia are followed and british pharmacopeia it is also very uh, commonly adopted indian pharmacopeia uh, in many uh, countries of the world as well as united states pharmacopeia so that is why i have included only three pharmacopeias for your uh, for your 
introduction indian pharmacopoeia british pharmacopoeia and united state pharmacopoeia so now moving to british pharmacopoeia see british pharmacopoeia it is the national pharmacopoeia of the united kingdom okay now british pharmacopoeia it is an important statutory component in control of medicines along with the british national formulary uh, it defines the uh, united kingdom's pharmaceutical standard so okay now british pharmacopoeia is a national uh, uh, the, it contains the national standards of drug substances for united kingdom and it is the official collection of standard for united uh, united kingdom's medicinal product and pharmaceutical substances published annually okay and it contains monographs for pharmaceutical substances formulated uh, preparations and other articles used in the practice of medicine so dear students as i said british pharmacopoeia it is published annually and the very first edition of british pharmacopoeia uh, it was published in 1864 and it consists of two section materia medica and preparation and compounds now the current edition of uh, british pharmacopoeia comprises six uh, volume uh, which contains nearly 3000 monographs of drug substances excipient and formulated preparations so in addition to uh, expanding number of monographs for licensed uh, formulated product the bp supports the regulatory work in the field of herbal and uh complementary medicines by providing additional new revised monograph of herbal product and for homeopathic stock and for mother tinctures british pharmacopoeia okay uh, this is about british pharmacopoeia and british pharmacopoeia if we talk about british uh, uh, in 2013 uh, bp uh, edition uh, it was launched in six uh volumes six printed volumes including uh, bp veterinary 2013 uh, which was new for 2000 uh, uh, year 2013 and 41 new bp monographs and 14 new european pharmacopoeia monograph and 619 amended monographs six new and one amended in uh, infrared spectra this were included in british pharmacopoeia so uh, the currently the latest uh, volume which is uh, recently launched for british pharmacopoeia is in year, year 2019 and latest edition uh, for indian pharmacopoeia it is 2018 edition and united states pharmacopoeia which is latest edition is 2020 which is going to uh, is which is uh, going to be implemented in from november 2020 okay so it was about the latest editions of these three pharmacopoeia now little i will tell you about the united state pharmacopoeia the very first edition of united state pharmacopoeia it was published in 15 december 1820 uh, in both english as well as in latin language okay uh, from 1820 to 1842 it was published in 10 years interval from uh, 1942 to uh, uh, 2000 it was published in five year interval and from 2002 onward it is published annually first national formulary of united state appeared in 1888 1888 at 1888 prescription and over the counter medicines are available in united state must by federal law meet usp and f public standard uh, where such standard exist okay so uh, this is uh, specifically for united state pharmacopoeia now usp establishes written uh, documentary and physical standard for medicine for food ingredients and for dietary supplement product and ingredient so these standards are used by regulatory agencies and manufacturers to help to ensure that these products 
are of appropriate identity as well as appropriate strength quality purity and consistency so uh, uh, USP 800 is an example of publication created by the United States Pharmacopoeia. So, USP standard for food ingredients may be found in Food Chemical Codex. Okay, this is FCC. So, the FCC is a compendium of standard used uh, internationally for quality and purity of food ingredients like preservative uh, for coloring nutrition uh, coloring and nutrients okay usp also conducts verification program for dietary supplement product and ingredients so these are testing and uh, audit program basically so product that meet the requirement of the program can display usp verified dietary supplement mark on their label okay uh, so uh, this is a di uh, different from uh, seeing letter USP along with the dietary supplement on the label which means that the manufacturer is claiming to adhere to the USP standards so USP does not test such products uh, as it does with USP verified products so European pharmacopoeia now Moving to European Pharmacopoeia. European Pharmacopoeia Commission started working uh, in 1964 uh, to prepare the European Pharmacopoeia editions. So now you can look at the slide about the different editions of European Pharmacopoeia. So uh, since its fifth edition, the Pharmacopoeia is published in uh, two uh, volumes volume one contains general chapters and monograph okay and volume two it contains all substance monograph uh, during runtime of current edition several supplements are published so europe uh, it was about the european pharmacopoeia so dear students coming to end of this module in this module we discussed about different pharmacopoeias Okay, Indian Pharmacopoeia, British Pharmacopoeia, United States Pharmacopoeia and about European Pharmacopoeia. So, but we detail, uh, in detail we discuss about our Indian Pharmacopoeia from uh, its first edition to the current edition available. What, are, what is uh, the definition of uh, uh, Pharmacopoeia, monograph and the description of of monograph that it contains title molecular weight molecular formula description okay storage conditions assay so all these things it contains a, a complete monograph uh, description uh, we studied as well as about uh, british pharmacopoeia and united states pharmacopoeia as well as about the european pharmacopoeia and uh, the latest addition 2018 IP is launched in 2018 and uh, for British Pharmacopoeia the latest edition is 2019 and for USP uh, 2019 edition is running and the in November 2020 in November 2020 the uh, new edition of USP is going to be launched so dear students uh, Pharmacopoeia uh, I have given you the little introduction about all these uh, pharmacopoeia. So please uh, go through from this module. And uh, uh, I really hope that you have enjoyed this module. And stay tuned for more videos. And thank you so much for watching this video.